Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. If you like to see how I got this holiday inspired makeup look and bombshell hair, keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do is start on my brows. I'm going to fill them in with my NYX brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And then I'm going to clean my brows up with some concealer by MAC. Moving on to my eyes, I'm going to use my Morphe 350M palette and I'm going to use that light brown shade into the crease of my eyes. Then I'm going to go into that dark brown shade to really add some depth into my crease. Now I'm going to go in with my Paint Pot by MAC to define my crease more and give it a subtle cut crease. I just want the lid to be super defined. Then I go in with my Tartelet in Bloom palette in the shade Smarty Pants on top of my lid. And now I'm just defining my, my cut crease more with that dark eyeshadow. Okay, so now it's time to struggle. <laughs> I attempted to do my wing liner on camera knowing good and darn well I should have waited and did it off camera, but I was trying to be a trooper. And this is what happened, okay? A complete fail. So then I'm just going to fix it off camera and then apply these gorgeous lashes by the Glamatory. So now it's time to beat this face. I've already applied my moisturizer and primer and now I'm going to color correct with my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade in C45. I'm just applying this to wherever I have dark circles under my eyes, around my mouth, y'all know. Okay, so now it's time to apply my foundation. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the shade Deep. <laughs> And I'm just going to apply it to my beauty blender and blend it all throughout my face. And the coverage on this is so freaking amazing. Do you see that? I love it, okay? So next I'm going to highlight with my Kat Von D concealer. This is the shade D31 Warm. And this is super thick, so a little of this goes a long way. Now to contour, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown concealer in the shade Chestnut. And then I'm just going to buff it in. I like buffing it in and then going back in with my Beauty Blender to set it. To set my foundation, I'm going to go in with my Fashion Fair pressed powder in the shade Cola. And then on top of where I highlighted, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup pressed powder to set my highlight. And on top of that, I go in with my Sasha Buttercup loose powder. And this just gives me long lasting finish, which I love, especially with my oily skin. Once I'm finished baking, I'm going to just swipe and sweep that loose powder off of my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my Stila powder and I'm so mad because I hit pan. Um, this is the shade dark and I'm just going to bronze and contour my face with this. Now for blush, I'm gonna use my Sasha blush in the shade burnt orange and it's so gorgeous then I go into highlight with my urban decay lit powder and I love this do you guys see this shade It's definitely lit like for real and then on top of that I'm gonna use my champagne pop for some extra glow because you can never have too much glow I'm gonna lightly line my waterline with this Rimmel black liner and then go back in with that dark shadow from the Morphe palette to smoke out my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to add some mascara and set my makeup with my setting spray. 
And this is the Basha setting spray, by the way. Now on to hair. Of course, I'm gonna be rocking my KRS hair group hair. Y'all seen this wig in my last video and I will leave all the specs down below, but this time we're gonna zhuzh her up a bit, you know, glam her out with some curls, cause this is the holiday and we wanna look glam. I have my curling wand on 400 degrees and I'm just gonna take medium sections and just curl all the way around. Once I take the curl out, I'm gonna hold the curl in my hand to kinda set it first and let it cool and then allow it to drop. And this just prevents the curls from falling um, too fast. And then to really secure that curl, I'm going to spray it with some setting spray or hairspray. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And this hair curls so well. So I've already sectioned off what my leave out is going to be. I just unraveled some braids. I didn't add any heat to my hair. So to get this curl, it's just a braid out basically. I'm going to attach, do you see the curls, girl? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna attach the wig onto my head and just adjust it, get it all secured. So now I'm just gonna finger the curls out a bit and do you see how gorgeous they are? Like, oh my God, drooling right now. They are so gorgeous. I'm gonna section the part that I want to put up in an updo. I decided to do an updo, like the half up, half down, because my leave out was not straightened. Um, but you can definitely straighten your hair to blend it a lot better. But I just thought this would be cute, especially it kind of hides the fact that I didn't straighten my hair all the way or straighten it at all. Plus, this style is super cute. It's like my favorite style. Now on to the lips, okay? We are going to use my Pat McGrath Lip Kit. Oh my God, I've been dying to use this. But first I'm gonna start off with lining my lips with this NYX Red Liner. Okay, so the lip kit comes with two colors. I'm gonna use the, the really red color and I'll leave the name of this lip kit down below. I think it's Vermilion or something like that. Um, you can totally rock it without the glitter, but girl, we're gonna add glitter because it's the holiday time. I'm just gonna take a, a um, makeup brush and just pat it onto my lips and oh my God, do you see the gorgeousness that's happening right now, girl? Like you're gonna slay the holiday party with this. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm gonna continue to build that coverage, pat and build, pat and build, and here is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below so we can chat. If you wanna know more about KRS Hair Group, you can click that video over there as well as watch my latest video if you've missed it. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.